My project is learning lounge, stand up, sit down, get comfy, and learn. I am the resource teacher at my elementary school for some Head Start through fourth grade. So what I've noticed is we have a lot of fidgety kids. And so I wanted to see if maybe changing out the way the seating arrangements were, would that help with their on-task behavior, staying focused and on task. So, like I said, my goal was to redesign it for flexible seating just to see if that would help. Uh, I chose my topic because, you know, I've been in special ed now for 17 years, and I've seen an increase in overall behaviors with not focusing, off task, and it, in, it impacts their academics. So we wanted to see what we could do to help with that. Uh, this, is, this is the boxes I got in. And I tried to order as much as I could so I could get my most bang for the $1,000. Uh, and that was my way the classroom was set up before. And I did keep my C-shaped tables because they're hard to come by. <laughs> so um, it allowed me to go ahead and see how the kids were doing prior to this. So I did it before Christmas and I kept track of one of my students who is ADHD and FMD student on how well she did with and without the seating arrangements. Uh, like I said, I have 18 students ranging from various level of abilities. I have ADHD, FMD, autism, developmentally delayed, and so forth. Uh, this is some of the seats that I bought. Uh, this is a video rocker and then of course a rocking chair and in front of uh, the little one in the rocking chair is my mobile iPad station that I've purchased and they really like it because they can move around to different places. They can use it to stand up at the stand up table which is the white table in the back uh, to see if how well they do there. And here's some more and again you see the one was in the rocking chair using the mobile station and then I have a little one who likes the video chairs and then I have one little one who really likes the trampoline she thinks it's hers no one else is allowed to use it which is okay I don't mind and I can I bought rolling chairs that way I'll have one and I just rolled wherever I need to go because I broke my leg last year so it just makes it handier um, again there's some more photos of my kiddos and the different chairs that we have and, so, and they also like the rocking chair, so we'll put we've the just screen on. So that we can do our it's hard for me to move around now in we'll my show room with the projector so on because it seems to go up and down. So we don't have the rockers give them the movement that they we've need. We've got three tents. And then when the kids are away, even my aides like to try to try out the seats. Um, all the kids seem to like it. You know, they like that when they came in after Christmas, everything was changed. And so they have their own uh, quirks about which one that they want to sit in and um, which ones that they don't. I've had a few seats that they just do not. Here's what the data is on my fourth grade. Like I said, my female student. Prior to, as you can tell, she was in the 30s and 40s. But after she chose the seat that she likes to sit in, and she likes that blue bouncy one. Uh, so, and hers decreased. So she was able to stay on task. I polled my students, and most of them, like 85%, 80% liked the flexible seating arrangement, um, and the redesign was like seven out of 10. I think that it helped. It was an overall positive experience for my students, and they've done much better with it. I will say there are some seats that I would not do again. The back pattern seats, they didn't like. Uh, for some reason, my little group didn't like the lower table, so I raised them back up. They just didn't like it. But overall, you know, we try to find different ways to engage our students each year. So and I think just trying to find uh, various tools and strategies, and this was just one that I thought might help, and it did, and they really enjoyed it. And that's it. Any questions?